Hello sparkly people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Vera Valentina, your favorite burlesque YouTuber, and we're back for Vlogmas Day 5. Now, today is less vloggy and more crafty since yesterday we did not get a chance to work on our glitter champagne bottles. Um, I went to the grocery store, but I just didn't get to it because we talked about my fan page last night. So make sure that if you haven't already watched that video, go back and watch it. Um, it's a how much I made on OnlyFans slash McRib unboxing. I know, super classy, showgirl fabulousness, not really, but you should watch it, it's kind of fun. But anyway, we're back here. Um, this is like a burlesque craft because burlesque dancers love sparkles. We love glitter. This is what we do. So if there's not glitter in your house and you're a burlesque dancer, what are you doing with your life? So that being said, let's glitter up these bad boys. So for this craft, you'll need glitter. I got two different colors, black and gold. Mod Podge, which is gonna act as our glue and as our sealant. And then of course, some paint brushes and two champagne bottles. And then we're going to be glittering the champagne bottles inside a box so as not to get glitter everywhere. Um, I decided that I'm gonna do one bottle with all of the gold covered in glitter and I'm going to do the other bottle with all the black covered in glitter so that we have a little bit of a mixture going on in the bar cart. We're gonna work in small sections. So I'm gonna start with this top piece here. I'm going to paint it with a little Mod Podge and then sprinkle it with glitter and then paint with Mod Podge and sprinkle with glitter, so on and so forth, all the way down the bottle. Let this one dry and then switch to the second bottle. Now, while you guys are watching me glitter this bottle, I thought I would take the opportunity to, of course, go over the weekly announcements. Yay! So this week, I wanted to let you guys know that I do have a virtual burlesque show coming up on December 10th with Burlesque Sink Asset. Um, it's called Whiskey A Go-Go. It's a 60s and 70s inspired burlesque show. Of course, it is virtual. Um, you can visit my Instagram page for the link on how to buy tickets for that. I'd really love to see you guys there. I also want to talk about Tipsy Tuesdays on my Instagram live every week. I'm going to continue doing that. I know I missed last week, but I was trying to get Vlogmas done. But now that I'm going to start uh, a new leaf, basically, which I'll talk about at the end of the video, um, I'm going to get back to Tipsy Tuesday. So join me on Tuesdays on Instagram live at 7 30 Eastern Standard Time. And that's Eastern Standard United States because I know a lot of my viewers are now coming from Europe. So hey, everybody across the pond. I also wanted to talk about how I am ridiculously close to 10,000 subscribers. Like what? Thank you guys so much for being here. I think I might have to do like a 10K giveaway if this goes the way that I'm thinking that it's going to go, which is before the end of the year, if I hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube, I will do some kind of burlesque themed giveaway for anybody who is subscribed to my YouTube channel. So uh, tell a friend to like, comment, share, and subscribe so that we can get this 10k giveaway going and I can give out some fun stuff to you guys because 10,000 sparkly people, that's ridiculous. I never thought that I would get here. It's crazy. All right, now that I've talked your ear off about myself, let's go ahead and get back to this craft. At this point, you guys can see that I've been working in small sections, mod podging and then glittering, mod podging and then glittering. I then cleaned up a little bit in between each of the lines. And now I'm going back with a second coat because I thought the black just needed a little bit more of a pop. So I think the second coat will make it a little bit more glittery. And then I'm gonna go back and then clean up in between the lines once again. And here is the finished product for the black bottle. Now, I didn't like it, so I ended up doing a gold bottle, and the gold bottle looks absolutely fantastic. 
These are the bottles finished on my bar cart. I'm pretty happy, I have to say. Oh hey, we're back. Vlogmas day six, it's Sunday night. Um, I did not vlog for most of the day today because I was trying to reassess what is happening with Vlogmas because Vlogmas has been a vlog hot ass mess for me. It's been devil ups on days. It's been, even with the planning that I did ahead of time, like I feel like I did not plan enough um, with all that I have to get done. So I think I need to start over, not start Vlogmas over, but like start over on how I am going to get this done because I said I wasn't gonna be a lazy show girl and it's time to get a routine. Like I remember asking you guys on Instagram, um, since we've been in quarantine for so long, do you have a routine at this point? Or are you just kind of winging it every day? And a lot of people are just like, I'm just winging it every day. And like, that's what I've been doing for the past nine months. I mean, I've been kind of productive. I've, I've gotten a lot done, but I feel like if I were, if I were more regimented and if I had stayed on a routine that I would have gotten a lot more done. Um, so starting tomorrow, Going forward, I'm going to get myself on a routine. I mean, I've seen my friends who have stayed on a routine do some amazing things. Like I have a friend um, back in St. Louis who vowed that she was gonna get healthier because she's moving into a new portion of her life. Um, so her and her husband decided that they were gonna get fit and they were gonna go on a trip. And let me tell you that they got like super fit and I'm so jealous. Um, not because like I wanna specifically lose weight or anything along those lines, but just because like she took the initiative to stick to a routine to make herself better in a way that she wanted to. And in this particular case for me, I want to get on a routine so that I can make myself a better showgirl. Um, I love the mantra that bazooka joe came up with a long time ago um called nose to the gr uh most people call it nose to the grindstone but burlesque dancers call it nose to the rhinestone and i really like that the nose to the rhinestone challenge basically doing something every single day to further your burlesque career and my nose to the rhinestone challenge is going to be to get my vlogmas in order and to get myself on a routine so that I'm doing the same things every day to push myself forward, to help you guys move forward faster, to help myself move forward faster, and to also make like Vlogmas just more organized. It just makes a lot more sense. Um, but I still have a whole bunch of really fun topics coming up over the course of the next month. I know that the past two days have been like kind of a bust, except for the uh, champagne bottles for my bar cart. Um, but the next week is gonna be fun and the week after that is gonna be fun all the way up until Christmas. And then I've got some really great ideas for the new year as well. So if you're not already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, don't forget to get, don't forget to hit that notification bell um, so that you get notified every single time I upload a new video, considering in the past that I haven't been on a schedule. This week I will be on a schedule and I am um, putting up a poll on my Instagram tonight to see what time I should be posting. Should I be posting um, the next day in the morning or should I be posting that same day in the evening? I don't know. I'm gonna post it on Instagram as a poll so you guys can go ahead and vote. But anyway, like I just went completely out of order. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Well, once again, I'm Vera Valentina, ah! your favorite burlesque YouTuber, giving you the best in burlesque beauty and booty. We're getting so close to 10,000 subscribers, guys. Tell a friend, tell a friend, and I will see you guys tomorrow with a routine.